Tak usaha daripada uh, kerajaan negeri supaya kita dapat memperkasakan uh, bukan sahaja dari segi kemudahan uh, asas sekolah-sekolah uh, tetapi kita pun harap dapat uh, memper, uh, apa ni, mem menaik tarafkan kualiti pendidikan yang diberikan kepada murid-murid kita We want, what we require for you is the demand that make sure that the money is well spent and of course spent right We, as I said, the government wants to do the right things We want you to do things right The government want to do the right things You are supposed to do things right We only ask you that Very simple, isn't it? Okay, so I think I wish to thank everyone for coming and there are any questions and I think we'll be more than happy to take them. I think we have, a, we, have a, we have a guideline saying the priority will give to the school board. It's only all other school, Chinese school, they're all giving to school board. And if they do not have a school board account, they might not be able to apply. So for this uh, missionary school, we are we are more relaxed because some of your some some of the school do not have a school board, and that's why we say okay, then we can go and give to your PIBG. I think that it's better if organized by the state government. Then at least then we have some sort of a community. I would suggest that we I mean, should be twenty four schools. If you if you wish to, then we can go for uh, well upgrading training, especially let's say English. I think we can, we can get professors from USM. Or I think that, that can be done. And when you have this type of effort, a voluntary effort, I think it will be much cheaper. We can do it at the auditorium. And then it's, it's not so far away. There's one more course for the teacher to attend. No, but then we do it during the break. Yeah. We do it during the... I'm looking at academic courses. Because different schools we might need uh, different, different, uh, different competencies. No, I, I I would suggest I think that's a very good idea. Oh, this a uh, one 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 I think that's a good idea. I think when you probably identify what are the levels that that uh, that you require, and then you try to match up. <laughs> so in that in that respect, I think we can structure our course towards excellence, not not away from excellence, and then we want your inputs. The problem with most of these courses is, as many teachers tell tells me, it is done by the designers who have no knowledge about teaching students. So let's get a course that works with input from the teachers, so that you have a sense of ownership. For your information, <laughs> the electricity, yeah. water, and utility bills are all charged commercial rates. They are not. Uh, no. They are all commercial rates, all the while, yes. Water, even water. Mm. The non-profit, non-profit rates. Uh. But if you charge commercial rates, I don't think that's fair. Uh. So uh, then we can check as far as water is concerned, but I think electricity and uh, ITWK and all that, I think it, uh, if you have written in and they have said no, uh, so it is a problem. So what we can do is we can help and we can bring it to the top. Okay. At the same time, we hope also you can help some of the campaigns done by the state, just as our reduced plastic bag consumption campaign. We hope you can also tell your students to support the government's efforts to reduce the use of plastic bags, uh, because we want to we make Tibet a green state. A green state. We are the first state to reduce plastic bag. Uh, so we hope that you can also encourage your students, tell your papa, mama, support this campaign. Don't scold the government for not giving you plastic bags. <laughs> Because you know we have been scolded for not giving you plastic bags. Huh? But I think it is, it is for the good of our future. And you just tell your students that the plastic bag problem is so severe that in the Pacific Ocean, the plastic bag that gather together is as big as the island of Borneo, floating on the Pacific Ocean. It's as big as the island of Borneo, including Sabah, Sarawak, and Kalimantan. That much plastic bags. And why is it that we have so few turtles nowadays? Because they mistake the plastic bag for jellyfish, and they eat it, and they all die.
Safety, safety features. How much did you all get first? I got 100k. I'm 100k in 2009. So it's to repair things. Repair things. Uh, upgrade, repairing, upgrading, maintaining. That, that's, that's what the money comes under. Mm. So because of that, it's very difficult for us to, to move and not really, uh, No buying a lot, no buying things, but you can upgrade it. Mm. So, something like, maybe, can you be a bit more specific, like uh, upgrading in painting or grill? No, 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 yeah, grill. We have a new building because uh, YB Chong went to save it. So we came up with no safety features. We have no grill for specific classes, uh, rooms for officers. You need grill. And then for the drains, I need the drain, cover, the drain cover so that the girls don't fall right through it. So among, among, those, among other things. And then we have a shapes so that uh, the children are not wet when it rains. You know, for the parents to come and pick them. Okay. <laughs> To thank the CM for his uh, um, approval to give Xavier Secondary School forty thousand. Uh, we apply the, um, the the fund to redo our school's distribution box. That is the main box, uh, switch board for the school, and uh, we are more or less ninety five percent completed. So we only started work in mid September after the uh, public exams that only started to work because uh, on occasionally we had to have power shut down and whatnot. So for the last three weeks, uh, uh, the contractor had worked okay very hard to complete. So before school started, then we managed to get the supply back. So we are more or less uh, have finished the forty thousand. So uh, how much did you get for the allocation? We got about seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Yeah. And then uh, we made use of it to do up our canteen, school canteen in Saint Mark's Drive. Mm. So My um, that means the seventy-five thousand is to renovate the canteen. Or yes, renovate the canteen. To renovate the canteen. Uh, it was in a very bad shape, wooden building all broken down. So we have done up a new building, a building for the canteen. And we have brought down the whole school because it is a wooden building and uh, we have solicited funds here and there and we have put up new buildings. So at the moment we are doing the office block, a double story building and are solicited funds for it. So that means there is still a lot of money that money needs to needed. be raised for that? Yes, that's right. Okay. Thank you.